The fan we are going to be wiring is the Panasonic Whisper Green Select FV0511VKSL1. This fan has a multi-speed timer pre-installed. The scenario we have is we have a two-gang box with two single pull switches. One switch is operating the light, the other is operating the fan. We will use the existing wire to switch the light on and off. Also, we will use the existing wire to take constant power to the fan. We will pull a new wire from the box to the attic to the new fan. We will use this wire to tie to the red signal wires to achieve spot ventilation. Okay, we're at the switch box here. We're simply going to unscrew both switches and getting ourselves ready to pull our new wire from here up into the attic. Uh, we're using the existing wiring here to wire the, to turn the light on and off and also take constant power to the fan. The new wire we're going to pull is going to do our spot ventilation. So we've got the wires pulled out, making room, going here in my screwdriver. I'm going to knock the knock out out of the back of this box and get it ready to pull a new wire into it. Okay, we're back up in the attic. We're going to uh, get ready to pull a wire from the two gang box down there up into the attic to the fan. So what I like to do is stay close to the wire going down into the box and drill myself a larger hole. So typically what I do, I like to drill about an inch and three quarter hole. Drill that, then you can see straight down in that box. So at that point now I can take the my fiberglass rod, I can stare straight down to that box. I can see the knockout out of there and I can drop that fiberglass rod right in that box since I have that larger hole. Okay, we've got our fiberglass rod pushed down the box. Now I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers, pull this out, and tape our new wire that we're going to pull to the attic on here. You don't need a lot of tape on here, but you do want to make it good and tight. You don't want that to pop off, so just put a little at the top. Take the bottom. that back in the box. Might have to have somebody up top helping you pull that. <clears throat> Get the wire back in the box and now from the attic we'll just pull that wire straight on through to the fan. Okay we've got our new wire pulled into the box. We've got the Romex cut back so now we just have to do our wiring connections. It kind of looks more difficult than it really is. Um, this is our, our common power wire feeding power to the switches and up to the fan. The fan was on this switch. We're going to undo these wires and put those together. So we'll do nothing with this switch here. We'll come over to the wire that goes to the fan. We're just simply going to uh, put those two together. So putting these two together will take constant power to that fan. So we've got our neutral here. We're just not going to touch that at all. We're going to tuck that back in the box. We're going to go ahead and tuck these back in the box. And one thing we have to do is hook up our ground wire from our new wire with the other grounds. Pretty simple to do. <clears throat> that is done. And I shouldn't have cut those. I should have just unscrewed them. 
these pieces of wire off the screws. Now we've got our, our new wire we pulled in here, the black and the white. Those are simply going to run the red signal wires. Remember that there is no power on these at all. So we're just going to strip this back. And put them on the, put them on the terminals here. doesn't matter which terminal you put them on. I'm just going to simply push these back in the box nice and easy. We can screw those back in there, but this the switch here will operate the light on and off. The switch here now is connected to the red signal wires, so it will handle our spot ventilation. All right, we're back up here in the attic. So the first thing we're gonna do is just show you we're gonna unhook the wires from the old fan, take them over to the new fan. So now we have two different Romexes here. So the first thing we're going to do just to get them out of the way is get the grounds hooked up. So now if you can remember down at the switch, the switch is uh, the, the new wire we pulled went directly to the signal wires. So I'm just going to push those back out of the way for a second. Um, <clears throat> the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and hook up the neutral. So we're going to grab the neutral for the light and the fan and make that connection. that done. <clears throat> now we're going to hook up the liar for the white. And if you can remember down the switches, we use the red to switch the light on and off. And get that hooked up. <clears throat> now the black wire, which has constant power to it, straight to the fan. So now all we're left is the red signal wire to hook up. So again, this doesn't matter what you hook up, so black to red and white to red. So we have all the wires hooked up. Go down the switch. When you turn the switch on for the light, it will turn the light on and off. We wired power directly up to the fan. So direct power will run the multi-speed timer. And then we also hooked up the red signal wires. So when you throw the fan switch down there, it'll ramp this fan up and get your spot ventilation. <clears throat> 